SongZap's loop recorder can be accessed in two ways. Firstly, from the groove page by swiping right when using the beat interface. Secondly, directly from the arrange page by long pressing one of the loop enable buttons. Before starting to use the loop recorder, it's useful to set up a simple song arrangement first. So we'll quickly create verse and chorus segments which we can record our loops into. It's valuable to have a two bar counting setup in all projects too. It's also useful to set up a simple beat to record to, which helps to stay in time while performing. So we'll choose a very simple beat from the beat precepts menu and set the tempo to our preferred BPM before starting with any recording. Now we're ready to record some verse loops. We start by selecting track one and pressing the record enable button. It's also useful to switch the metronome on to further help with performance timing. Press play and the two bar count in will start. On completion of the count in, start performing and recording. Here it's just a two bar chord progression that's being recorded, so it can be played over a few times until a good version is achieved. Let's listen back to the recording. We can now start to adjust the positioning of the loop window to choose the section of the recording that we want to use as our loop. Having recorded a loop on loop track 1, we can now record an overdub loop on loop track 2. Select track 2 and repeat the recording process. After recording, you can again adjust the loop window to choose the best phrase to use. Now let's move on to the chorus section and record four layers. We'll start with a different chord progression on loop track one and an arpeggio on loop track 2. Then we'll record two electric guitar loops on loop track 3 and loop track 4. For info, the acoustic guitar recordings were conducted with the iPhone just placed on a nearby table while playing. For the electric guitar, the iPhone was positioned on top of the guitar ramp while recording. Now the loops are all recorded, we can start to arrange and mix the song. In the arrangement, we can duplicate and arrange the verse and chorus sections. In the mixer, we can pan the electric guitar recordings left and right, 
to create a bigger stereo image for the chorus. We can also add reverb and set the volume levels of each track. Back in the arrangement, we can decide which loops we want to be enabled at any moment in time. For example, if we create another verse section at the start, we can have the overdub loop, on loop track 2, only active for the first four bars, leaving more space for a vocal that might come in for the second four bars. Let's listen to the full song arrangement. With loop recording and the arrangement editor, you can construct complex songs with interesting sections that take the listener on a dynamic musical journey.